Hello, my name is Colin Hawes from Highline Extreme. The purpose of this film is to show you how to put up and take down our mobile climbing wall. We've arrived on site and as you can see we've got the handbrake on and detached the tow vehicle. We've selected a site where we can park the wall level from side to side and we can adjust the pitch, height, front and rear by winding this handle here to lower it or to raise it. Here you can see the wall is horizontal front to back. This film should be watched and the wall put up with the instructions to hand. They detail such things as ground conditions and the need to check for overhead obstructions. Here you can see there's nothing but sky above us. The side flaps are supported both by ratchet straps and safety chains. To open the ratchet we pull this lever here and open it completely flat which releases this lever here and enables us to pull the tape through. The tapes are stored at the back of the wall under the rear flap. Releasing the safety chain enables us to open the door on the off side where we find all of the clips stored for putting the wall up together with the legs and feet which we'll require next. The legs are stored inside of the climbing wall and can be pulled out by removing this bolt. The leg is slid out until we are able to lift this. Notice that I don't put my fingers underneath at any time to avoid risk of trapping them should I drop it. We don't need to remove the leg completely and we can then slide it up until this sits just above the pin. And then using two large pins, secure the leg. These linch pins fit on the back of the bolts to stop them coming out. Fit the small bolt into the hole at the top of the brace and use the linch pin to secure it. The feet come in two parts, a lower foot and a top foot with a steel cap on it. They are placed under the leg and we drop this part in, securing it with a frame clip. tensioned using a 22mm spanner from the tool kit. The object is not to lift the wall, merely to stop it rocking by winding down the adjusting screw. Repeat this on the other three legs until the wall is stable and all components are firm. It's important that the main climbing wall is level. However, on sloping ground, you may find it easier to put an additional foot base in the stack. This will mean that less thread needs to be exposed. For steeply rising ground, you can swap the legs from side to side, or possibly use this higher clip hole And you can see that the ground could rise steeply here and still enable you to erect the climbing wall safely. The ground on which you've put the climbing wall slope, it's permissible to put up to 100 millimetres of packing planks under the wheels on one side. Ideally, no more thread than you see here should be exposed. We can release the clip on the front to enable this flap to lower thus protecting climbers from falling onto the tow hitch or the handbrake. Use these remaining four large bolts from the clip rack and we'll use those to erect the gantry. You'll see that I now have a climbing harness on together with a suitable sling. I have here an auto belay device which will take up to the top and clip on to show you how that's used. Onto the top of the wall and I'm going to remove the transit strap from the gantry. 
This strap is essential as it stops the gantry rising during transit. I will drop it straight to the ground so that it doesn't remain as a lingering hazard to be kicked off the top of the wall later. The gantry is supported by a pneumatic cylinder and can be lifted easily with one hand. The four bolts that we removed from the rack earlier are put in a hole, one at the base of each leg. Lynch pins are used again to secure them. Using a sling attached to the harness, I can make myself safe. I can now load the auto belays. Up to six can be used, or you can set up carabiners suitable for ropes to use for top roping or abseiling. Carabiners should be swung so that the screw gate does up facing downwards. Here, when I do it up, you can see the screw gate lowers into position. This means it won't rattle undone in use. I can now clip one or more auto belays to my harness and lower off. 